Hello, my friends. So we're waiting patiently here, or impatiently as the case may be, to see if Yastola awakens. And no, I want to talk to Tataru. I know she's a little bit wee shorter than me, but yeah. Okay, so apparently I guess she does at least have a pulse. Apparently we did check for that in the interim. Okay, good. A little surprise, okay. Alright. Well, well then, okay. Okay, yeah, you already said that. Okay. Alright, so let's go gather up stuff. Apparently Tataru's put stuff on special order. And it seems only extremely convenient that we happen to be here right in the place where we need to go pick up said items. So what would we do if we found Yastola and we were not near Gridania? I don't know. Hello, my old friend. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I've become quite the badass white mage over here. Well, what do you think a fucking Hanjiro does with these staffs? Oh well, whatever. Whatever. Maybe he doesn't realize Tataru has a gifted for somebody else instead. You know, Tataru, why can't you run your own damn errands? Although, I suppose you are still a little too stressed and nervous to actually get this done effectively. Sick with worry and all that, so... Then I do have longer legs. Yeah, let's not question that. And you just stole the balls of steel line. You're not allowed to do that. Okay? And as luck would have it, I do have one among my group who's certainly grown a steel pair, so shut up! I don't think he's been fighting chimeras and shit. Just polar bears, to my knowledge. And that was a while ago. And he nearly peed his pants. Not that I am any way, shape, or form actually blaming him, but... Because, damn, I, I sure as hell would've. Uh, Sprint, would you hurry up and get off cooldown, please? Thank you. Tatero, I'm back! I didn't have to go far. Yes, I do. No, nothing special. Okay. You know, I just put those in the market like two minutes before I started. Jesus. But has she woken up yet? Because it's a five minutes ago she hadn't had yet to regain consciousness. Oh, look how happy she is! Can we give the girl some socks and shoes? You stole her? I'm so glad you're back! No, seriously, do people in New York go to sleep barefooted? I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing, but, like, I could never do that. My feet would get too cold. Tataru. <laughs> Alright, give her a hug. Okay, a pat on the head will do, I guess. You are safe. Thank the Twelve. Something has changed about you, Elphino. Or mayhap the change is with me. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. Well, he's got some new duds and he's not a dick anymore, so yeah, something has definitely changed. So after you to notice. I am pleased to see you well again. Do you feel strong enough to talk?
Worry not. I am well enough. Dude, you don't have to kick your sister out of the room. We're fine. Tell us then, what befell you after you fled the feast? We were told that there had been a tunnel collapse. That was my doing. I brought the tunnel down that you and Minfidia might escape. At the last moment, I invoked a teleportation magic in hopes of spiriting Thancred away at least. Needless to say, it did not go quite as planned, and I found myself adrift in the life stream. Yeah, good job on that. The others? Where are they? Did they not escape? Considering what happened to you, um, and two of them had already separated from the group, I, you should already know the answer to this question, Nostola. Even ignoring the fact that they're not here present in the room with us. If you're dumb enough to do what you did, even though I understand why she did what she did, then it's very obvious that the others did too. They remain unaccounted for. You were the only one we have been able to find. Can we at least tell her that Uriage is okay? I am truly sorry. It was the Crystal Braves who pursued you that day. My hubris that led to our undoing. Uh, no, 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 you're not gonna go back in this hole. No, 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 I forbid it. I forbid it. No apologies are necessary, Alpha No. You are not to blame for what occurred. Know that were our comrades here, they would commend you for keeping the light of hope alive. Don't, don't worry. The others are alive and well. I'm sure of it. We just need to find them. Indeed, Tataru. Let us find our friends and rebuild the Scions. Well, we got nothing much else to do here because, yeah, we're kind of shit out of luck ha! right now. There is the Alphano I remember. And I feel much the better for his return. Tis time I arose. No, no, you stole. He was a dick before, okay? It's, in, it's okay to admit it. He was a dick. You don't want the old him back. <gasps> that reminds me. I have a change of clothes for you. I don't like to boast, but I made them myself. I learned how to weave while we're in Ishgard, you see. Uh, Tataru, you just had me go get the stuff for it five minutes ago. Just saying. What? What? No! 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 He didn't throw our asses out of the room when we had when when he had to get changed. Okay. And number two, we've already all seen you stolen naked. What the hell? Damn you, double standards. Dude, we're like 10 feet away. Just walk up to us. Uh, you stole it? Over here. Uh, come on. Over, over, over here. Let's finish our little reunion. Thank you. Tataru has apprised me of all that took place in the aftermath of the assassination plot. It would seem I have been away for some while. Now, now the question is, have we appraised Tataru with uh, everything that happened? Because we kept her in the dark for a while too. Yes, much and more happened during your absence. At present, we seek to follow the Archbishop to Azislaw. And you want for some manner of etheric ram to pierce the floating isle's protective barrier? Yes. Have you been paying attention? We do. Might you be able to furnish us with one? A means to prise open a hole in an Alagarn barrier. And one large enough to admit an airship, no less. Hmm. Nay. I lack the knowledge to devise such a weapon. But I know of one who could. And why did you pause before telling us this? A leading figure in the field of etheric research, and one of the finest scholars ever to grace Charlian. Matoya, my former master.
Yeah, I'm gonna essentially stay quiet for that. <laughs> Holy shit, am I lagging. Holy crap. Y'all saw that, right? Uh, I need to spend my point. It's pretty good. It's better than our old one. I'll give it that. Even though throughout a run before and I have made my uh, disdain for uh, you still look quite clear. Needless to say, not much has changed about that. So come on, come on! Time is of the essence, Justola. Fill us in already. Yes, Yastola, alright, if you've been paying attention, like, the whole story about what we've done from now, from he from the beginning since now, is we make friends with people. Like, that's how we function now. Why is she gonna be any different? We'll make friends, and she'll help us. That's kinda how this works. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that in a bit. We'll get into that. I, I have shit to say about that. We'll get into that later. And you stole it. You should know this, by the way. No, we don't need to make fucking preparations. We've climbed fucking some all. We'll be fine. Ugh. <sighs> Now, to one small extent, I can kind of... Guys, the plaza is over here, not over there. I can kind of forgive this this sudden shift to let's go back to Ishgar temporarily. Because this does give us an opportunity to, you know, kind of fill in Emmerich and Lucia and crap about, you know... Hey, we found one of our friends, and yeah, we're, we're still trying to look for this, but we need a little bit more time. And Sid, like on all them, you know? Yeah, not allowed to go shopping yet. It will not be a grueling journey. We've been in the forelands before a while ago. Oh, we even escorted Chataru back to work. Uh, guys? Guys, the exit is this way. Ah. Why are people so silly? I mean, technically, that's not the way out to Falcon's Nest and Tailfeather, but it's a door. And either way, the, the, the Aetherite is the other direction, too, so whatever, whatever. Alright, guys, I'm a dummy. And I forgot that, yeah, Tataru is indeed here immediately after she goes back to work. Yeah, I don't mean to jump. But yeah, yeah, she waves, and you actually see her with her hair down for once. It's cute. Kind of hard to see the back because she always faces you regardless of what she does. Yeah, she took off the stupid hat, so yeah. All right, so now we actually go to Tailfeather. She's over there making her own damn duds. You know, Tataru, make some me some duds, okay? Y you know, guys, like Sanctuary is like 25 feet away. Aww. Well, I'm hoping they fed you once you woke up. Like, because that would really suck. Guys, guys, it's this way. Alright. And the dragons are not a big problem anymore, and neither are the Nath. Now, we could teleport to Annex Trine, um, 
but I'm not gonna bother doing that right now because obviously we can fly. Now, even though this place is obviously, the hinterlands is obviously connected to the forelands, it isn't until now we can actually, it's kind of like how we couldn't access this place from Falcon's Nest until we were told we could. Um, the gate, once we actually get it to show up, then draw distance over here. But yes, finally, this gate right here is actually closed. You can actually see the doors are now slid open. Why they didn't make this part of, like, maybe Yashola, like, opening it herself or something like that, I think that would have been, uh, interesting to do. Um, because it's never explained why it's closed before and just suddenly just open now. But, but I'm presuming the Charlanes built this to, to kind of keep them safe from the rest of Germani and the rest of the dragons, even though most of the dragons who live in the Forelands are the Dusa kind, but whatever. We're not getting into that right now. To the Thaliac River, where to the melted snows of Abelathia's spine eventually find their way by means of a thousand silver streams. Whose waters have long nourished the Travanian hinterlands, and so provided for a settlement of learned souls from across the northern sea. To the city of Charlien, that great seat of knowledge now abandoned by her keepers, they came. Search for a you show that you lived here, you should know where it is. Uh, guys, guys, hi, still back here, enjoying the scenery for a moment. So, welcome to zone number five. Yeah, we're level 59 and we're just now getting into zone number 5 where we can no longer fly. So, yeah, we gotta go and get Aether Currents and crap all over again. Ugh, this gets so annoying. Like, you're like, hooray, I can fly! And it's like, no, I'm not anymore, bitch. This time I'm actually going to pay attention and try to get the currents. As I go. Rather than have them walk around and get them all later, because it's a pain in the ass to not be able to fly in these zones because they're so huge. We'll catch up with the others in a minute. Now, amusingly enough, hopefully you enjoyed that extreme fast forward there. Yeah, find a place to cross the river. Yeah, this this is a zone marker. This is not a place to cross a river. We already crossed a bridge across the river. Yeah, y'all could have, uh, described that a little bit better. But those who are extremely observant, as quickly as that went by, um... There are goblins around, and a shit ton of broken aetherite crystals. Too bad they don't fucking work anymore. And they have handicap accessible ramps too, how lovely.
Ooh, history lesson. Uh, hello? Jesus Christ, that is racist! It's not really plundering if, you know, we kind of abandoned it 15 fucking years ago. Um, again, you stole a... 15 years ago, you guys left. Just completely up and fucking left and haven't been back since. You've lost all your rights to this place. See, th there, see, there we go. See? Goblins have a right of it. I mean, this wasn't like it happened like six months ago and we had to like flee from, you know war or famine or anything like that. We left of our own free will 15 fucking years ago. Thank you, Elfano. Let's diffuse the drama here. We just want to cross the river. We're here to make friends. That's kind of what we do around here now. Well, that was kind of easy. Alright, so welcome to Idleshire, the new Revenant's Toll, and sadly it is in a, like, Revenant's Toll before, right, because I'm way too slow to update these things, um, is in an updated state, in its final state, uh, it would have been, uh, a bit smaller when we first came here, which kinda sucks, but, we'll, we'll just pretend the city is, is a crap hole, okay? Alright. So that's not your home anymore. It hasn't been your home in a long time. That's like going back to kindergarten when you graduated from high school and claiming you're still a student there. Nope, new friends! Oh, we even get proper introductions, too. Oh, this is great. Uh, hello, hello, we told you our names. M might you do the same? Yeah, except the fact they didn't actually go through in the story and actually tell you that the bridge was collapsed. Or at least it's collapsed on the side that we need to cross the river on. Uh, unfortunately, from where we are, we could not see that. Nor does this, the, the, do we have a pit stop along the way to kind of tell us that, that, oh, shit, the bridge is broken. We need to find another way around. Good job on that, developers! Friendship! Oh, that's what we're all about! Slowfix, we are gonna get along so wonderfully. Yeah, funny how none of you gave a shit enough to, to try to learn this yourself.
Illuminati? What? Okay, why do we need to become a citizen to cross the river, though? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all down for making friends and whatnot, but... Oh, well. Oh my god, this lag. Holy shit. Alright, so that's gonna be it for... Yeah, see, that's supposed to change. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. And next time, we will... We will make proper friends with Slowfix and his Gabby Flock, and maybe become citizens of Idleshire again. Seems kind of awkward, but it has been 15 years. We kind of got to go with it. So thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you then.